Thanks, Nicole. That was a great exercise. So as you can see, something that appears to be simple, like building a tower with a marshmallow on top, can get more complicated the more people you add. This is because even though they, we want to cooperate, we approach it with different priorities. Some people put the marshmallow as the most important thing and proceeded through the entire exercise with the marshmallow top of mind. Others considered the structure the most important to build the structure and then put the marshmallow. So what do we do about that? We want to cooperate. There's all these elements. We have to prioritize. So when you have a task at hand, it helps to prioritize the most important things. Let's take a simple example. Washing a dirty dog. That's our goal. The goal is clear. The dog is dirty, needs to get clean. First thing we need is the dog. Dirty dog. Pretty simple. What do we need next? Well, to clean the dog, we need some kind of area and some kind of material to clean it with. A tub. Now still, if we only have the dog, without the tub, we could clean the dog with our hands or, you know, pick off the bits and not do the great of a job, but then add the water and it gets even better. What's the third thing? Pet shampoo. Add the pet shampoo to the dirty dog in the water and you're going to end up with a clean dog. Now what if you only have the dog and the shampoo? Well, you're going to get the dog muddy soapy. What if you only have the tub and the shampoo? Well, you've got no dog, so you don't end up with a clean dog. So, that's a pretty simple example. Our next exercise, we're going to move on to a more complicated one. So in our first example, we had cooperation building the tower with the marshmallow on top. For our second exercise, we're going to move on to prioritizing exercise so that we can all get on board and approach the goal with the same set of ideas and tools. This, uh, goal, this exercise is called Lost at Sea. You've got 15 items, you're sinking on a raft, you can only grab five. To start out with, we're each going to go down the workshop, the worksheet that uh, Nicole and Alexis have passed out, and individually you're going to prioritize the top five items. After you do that, we're going to get into groups, and we're going to take all of the items, and to make it simple, we're going to deprioritize the bottom five. So instead of deciding on the most important, we're going to narrow it down from 15 to 10 by everybody agreeing on the least important five items. From there, you're going to move on as a group and decide on the top five items. So, why don't you guys get together right now and go ahead and look at your sheets individually. Don't talk to each other. This is individual. And go ahead and prioritize your top five items. And after you do that, we're going to move on and put yourselves into groups. Now, after we've done this, we're going to move on to a co-leadership exercise that Alexis is going to lead. And building on cooperation, prioritization, and co-leadership, we're going to make you guys fantastic team members. Okay, I'll let you have time to do that.